Hello vegan adventurers, welcome to another exciting video. So as you know, today we are traveling to Mallorca, Spain from Vienna airport, it should take around two hours. And today we'll show you the permaculture garden in our accommodation and we're also gonna do the first hike. So let's get into the vlog. Today was November 18th and there was already snow on the peaks of Alps. The climate change is a big threat to nature and environment and even the Alps, the glaciers are disappearing quite quickly and the main reason for the climate change is the animal agriculture as the major source of greenhouse gases. Flying in the airplane is also not the best for environment. According to some sources, flying 4,000 miles it releases the same amount of CO2 as eating meat for the whole year. So 4,000 miles is not even one long haul flight from Europe to Bali. I think animal agriculture has much bigger impact because they didn't account for other greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide and also for the deforestation, desertification, species extinction and uh, waste products. All that said, I think flying still has a big impact and I think we should not fly every week. It should be a special occasion left for a few times a year. Especially the long haul flight should not be more than once a year. And as we're descending down to Mallorca airport, you can see the Tramontana mountains where we plan to hike in the next two weeks. And here we are flying close to Palma de Mallorca, which is the biggest city in Mallorca, around half a million people. In the summertime, the Mallorcan coastline is packed with tourists who come to enjoy the sea, but now it's a colder weather. There is much less tourists who only come here for hiking or cycling, but the accommodations are much cheaper as well. And here we are already in a rental car on a highway heading to our accommodation which is more north. So renting a car is the best option, it costs around 200 euros per week including the gas which I think still ends up cheaper than if you were to take taxi or uber everywhere. <laughs> our accommodation which was like a permaculture house with a garden and also these animals so most sane people when they see animals like this they would never think of grabbing them and slashing their throat open cooking them up they see them as the creatures who have their own life and just want to live but unfortunately most people don't align their actions with their values they would never kill the animal themselves but they pay others to do it so it's very hypocritical go vegan <laughs> Come on. 
Right when we entered, we saw this orange tree, so it's amazing that they can grow it here. In Serbia and Slovakia, it's too cold for it. If the temperature goes below zero, it basically kills the tree, but it means that here, the temperatures never go below zero. And as we went more into the garden, we saw that they had also eggplants. They also had installed an irrigation system because it's too dry here in the summertime and also too hot. It seems like nobody was picking them up for a while and they also had a lot of peppers here. And here we even saw some watermelons which look perfectly fine on the outside but when you turn it around it was all rotten inside. Pretty much all of them were just left here for a while. So it seemed like a big waste of food to me. also saw some mandarins but unfortunately they're all still unripe even though they look all ripe they'll maybe be ready in two three weeks so maybe in December and even though there was a big chance of rain we went for a little hike at the end of the day for a small hill near our accommodation so up there is like a church you can get up there with a car but for now, we're just gonna head up here. There's another peak. Peak. And lots of these trees are olive trees. <laughs> because most of, most of the year is really dry here. This is like unusual weather here. Most of the time it's like no rain, just sunny. And these uh, olive trees don't require that much water. And also these bushes. So yeah, this is really unusual weather here in Mallorca You see there is also lots of fill for probably growing corn to feed animals and not only there are fields but they're also separated by fences it's kind of like South American culture where everything is private property everything is fenced up got to the top of the hill where was this little church chapel here with this uh, cross so it's some religious thing here and we got some view to the other side where we see uh, more fields but there is also some forests but Spain despite being a more hot and drier country than other European countries has actually more forest area than Serbia 36% and here you can see a next bigger town near us, Inca, on the right over there. And this island is not so big as you can see, uh, if you look forward, you can see the sea over there, where is Palma de Mallorca. So the island has only 100 kilometers from north to south and 70 kilometers from west to east.
the way back it started raining more heavily which is not common for this time of the year they usually get lighter rain in autumn and uh, more heavier in spring So this is the first hill we've been about half an hour ago and now we're checking out this other hill with the church on top where you can also get with the car. And here we're exploring the surrounding area a little bit more before darkness. Actually we have two more hours than in Serbia of daylight because it's uh, far more west but it's still the same time zone. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy our first days in Mallorca. It was uh, raining quite a lot, so that's why we didn't do much, but the rain should stop next few days. So we're gonna do some more serious hiking. So stay tuned for more adventures. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous.